Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope y'all having a great day. Um, yeah, experiences. I think that um, like one one thing that I try to go off of when I'm like providing an experience is like um, like trying to do something that some that people didn't know that they wanted to do. Like you know, people didn't people probably don't know they want to go inside like a digital environment and watch a movie. Like you know, somebody like take for example, like um, your favorite movie is Lion King. You don't watch Lion King a million times, but you didn't know that you wanted to watch Lion King in VR until you actually had the headset on and you're watching it inside like the volcano or something. Or even in um Decentraland, like you don't watch Lion King a million times, but you didn't know you wanted to like come into this digital environment as like a avatar with like cool clothes on and then sit down in a chair and then watch the Lion King from like that point of view. So uh, my go to like um uh, like explanation like pretty much is just provide people with experiences they didn't know that they they wanted to enjoy or be a part of or like participate in awesome They're familiar things and unfamiliar spaces sometimes um i want to hear from kim and then justin right after oh i went so i kicked it up but go ahead justin i'll let you go oh yeah thank you so much actually um, I had a question for for Lava Heads, just building off of something that you said. Um, I was curious, like, what do you what do you think it is about, uh, like, we're talking about unforgettable virtual experiences, but you mentioned specifically, you know, like, watching a, a movie or a film inside of a virtual world, whether it be on like desktop or even in a VR headset. Um, I'm just curious for you, Lava Heads, like, what what do you think it is about like watching a movie in a virtual world with your friends and avatars and everything like what 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 is it for you personally that um yeah that, that you like about that i'm just kind of curious and for anyone too it just like yeah it just kind of sparked my my interest there yeah just real quick i don't want to like overtake anything but it's just a, it's another social layer to hang out with um like your community like if you guys are watching lion king in the discord maybe people are tired of watching it in the discord maybe people want to go inside spatial and streaming inside spatial and watch it or streaming inside decentraland so it's just like another layer of community building and um you know it's, it's another platform because we're building um experiences and branding um like aspects off of the um platforms so you know um vr and things like that that's another platform that and that's another piece of technology that we can build layers upon so like for me it's just really building experiences and, and um, social aspects upon the technology. And right now that's probably like the coolest technology ever, like VR and like, you know, shaking someone's hand in VR. Like, I think that's like, you know, up there, I think that's like past the AI and stuff, but like, it just depends on how you want to utilize the technology, but yeah, just, yeah. just social layers. I love that. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I think um, it's so funny. You mentioned like, yeah, like, having someone in VR um I was with, with actually Metageist and I we did a, a meeting inside of the Apple Vision Pro the other day and it's like it, even in that headset you actually can see your hands and see the other person's hands and it's a little trippy because it's the Apple personas and everything but it's like they're full 3D avatar um but it's like we like we touched hands and it there was some sort of uh you know like neurological like mental connection to that where it, it almost felt like I was actually like shaking his hand um so yeah th those types of experiences I, I totally agree like they're they're always really fun and i think they they catch me by surprise because i don't expect that type of reaction uh lava head i see your hand still up you want to add to this man i didn't i didn't know that my hand was up twitter must be acting up right now because um <laughs> i think it is <laughs> man, can you um I'm here, but can you just restate the question one time? Because I want to answer a spot on. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, obviously we're talking about experiences, um, you know, unforgettable experiences. One of them I, I, that I wanted to tie in uh, was when it comes to when, when you're including challenges or rewards inside the metaverse. When, you know, when you're in that headset and you're completing tasks and you're completing challenges, I think that's something that, you know, it makes you immersive in the experience. And as a human, getting rewards is something that naturally, you know, boosts uh the dopamine as, as, as you're completing tasks yeah i remember when um I, when i first was um started playing like xbox 360 and the achievements came out and everybody was just like playing games just to get the the points um to make their profiles look good to to like all the achievements and all the points adding up to make it you know you were a real gamer if you had x amount of points like you had 20 40 000 points you have bragging routes and, and people knew you play games 
So like, I think that like you, you, you essentially need that kind of stuff because it's another social aspect and you can like build on the technology with that stuff. And then being on the blockchain, you can like start airdropping stuff to certain individuals. So like, I'm super bullish on achievements and, and um, whether they're on or off chain and AR or VR or, or whatever, like you got to have achievements within your, um, within, within your ecosystem. It's a must. Lava head. Let's hear from you. Uh, what is, uh, uh, an event that you attended that, uh, it, it holds real estate in your, in your, in your head. Uh, when dope Stilo does those, um, parties every Wednesday, like every Wednesday, it's always like something new, but specifically the, uh, the party we threw the first one we threw on in the volcano when I first got it, um, all set up, like with the, uh, the boardwalk and the, the glass dance floor and stuff like that, man. Once we got it all set up and Dope Stilo came in there and we did the whole party, that it was crazy because like it's like the VR experience, just standing in the volcano. Then we had probably like 30, 30 or so people show up and it was just like, man, we had the dance moves. Everybody had different avatars. Like um, Dope Stilo had the, um, there was like the Jumbotron with him on there, like live streaming himself. So there was like the physical aspect in there still too. And then um, afterwards we went down to like the boardwalk and we were talking and stuff. So that, that was crazy. It was like uh, maybe like two, like a two hour long experience. Like, and I probably did half of it with VR on probably maybe like 45 minutes um, or so, like with the VR on. But the cool thing about being in that vault and well, in my spatial, um, you really don't have to like, you could sit down and, um, have the headset on and you can still like operate and stuff. I know like some people get the motion sickness and so they can't have the headset on that long, but like in the spatial, when you're just sitting down in the chair and you're just like using the joysticks to move around, it's not really that like, um, intense on your eyes and stuff. So, um, that's a, that's one thing I like about um, my, my, um, environment. So yeah, man, just that, that party with uh dope Stilo every Wednesday, but like, um, specifically the one that we did in, in my environment and I got that video actually on YouTube too so anybody that's interested in like what I'm talking about it's there too because I when I'm in the car sometimes I'll just throw that video on and listen to the music so like that that experience is like with me like all the time because I play it I play it like I don't know multiple times a week so yeah yeah sure um yeah, one of the hurdles, I think, are, is just, like, gathering people because um, everybody's just so spread out mm-hmm. and um, not all the platforms are kind of, like, like some, like spatial, you can use the phone. Decentraland, you have to use the computer. Like, that, that'd that be a problem, too. Like, a lot of stuff is, like, spread out and not everybody's, like, in the same, like, s- space, I guess. Like, so I think that just gathering if we could figure out a way just to funnel everybody into like a certain spot on a certain day at a certain time, I think that that would kill like a lot of the, the barriers. Cause once we get everybody settled in one spot, we can, we can like hold conversation and start talking like how we're doing now. Like we gathered everybody here inside the Twitter spaces. Now we hold them like, you know, a great conversation and, and figuring stuff out. I think it's the same thing. We could do the same thing in these digital environments, just having to like, a funnel system, a notification system of like getting everybody over there, maybe like a, a community calendar or or something like that with, um, like events and where they're going to be at and what device is best for that platform when you're, when you want to like engage. So, uh, I don't know, something along those lines. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just, just the gathering people really. Yeah. You know, one thing I want to tie and, and throw a 100, if you experience this time zones, 100 i gotta i gotta say 100 on that one (laughs) (laughs) throw a 100 if you can agree the time zone struggle with inputting events i think that is one of the most hardest specs and challenges that i see with with putting on events um having people that are from japan uk uh you know california washington i mean they're all over the world i mean that's it's the beauty of it but Honestly, it's one of the biggest challenges because when you're waking up, they're raving, <laughs> right? Or when you're going to sleep, they're partying, they're, 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 you know, the party is just getting started, right? So I think, you know, w- one challenge is definitely the time zones. Uh, obviously, also um, the technology. Some people uh, don't have VR headsets. 
now is to find ways to engage people more. So, um, you know, Lava, you mentioned, for instance, uh, the idea of a community calendar. That's a great idea, but I also don't think that it's super engaging. I think it's a kind of like a very web two way of marketing your event. Whereas if we can offer people rewards for attendance, if we can offer people a quest when they get there, if we can offer ways to make attendees feel like part of the story, a part of the narrative, then that's a lot more engaging than just saying like, hey, come to my event. So we need to think of yeah. ways we can engage more. I think that's a um, like great point of view to look at it from, because if we're doing community events and, um, you know, we got a whole team, so I'm sure we have team, we have like builders and, you know, we could just something as simple as a T-shirt for your avatar that says that, hey, I was here at this event um, at this time. You know, it's the same thing when like um, music artists, they throw like concerts and say they threw a concert in like, uh, it's like 2021 and you still got the T-shirt from it. So, you know, just simple stuff like that. I think that would be cool to like intertwine with what you're talking about. For sure. Merch is good. And I want to take it a step farther because this is something that I've thought about a lot with a lot of the events that I've put on. When you look at the people in this space, we can say three things about them. Number one, they're, they're gamers. Number two, they're fashionistas. So they like to show off their assets. And, <laughs> and uh, oh my God, did I forget the third thing? Number one, number two, uh, and they're content creators. Sorry, they're content creators. So the best way to engage I have found is to uh, run some kind of a contest, which kind of fulfills that competitive need in them. Uh, make sure that it's a contest where they can show off their assets on social media, because these are the three areas that people here love to indulge in. So that to me has been my number one tip for getting people engaged to come to your events is to satisfy those three aspects of the yeah. personality. To, to double down on what you were saying, um, giving people something to show off. I mean, like when people buy a big bag of coins and they make a profit, what's the first, one of the first things they do is post about it on the timeline. Like, hey, look at this, look what I got. So like, if you could create that vibe around, um, like communicative meetings, I guess, and like um, the assets and, and yeah, just like things to show off, like just literally what you said on the timeline, like that is a winning recipe for sure. I, I, I want to continue uh, hammering down this conversation, but I also want to hear from Low Poly. I know we've got Michael 